Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new exciting episode of Pro Wrestling Union Explosion. We're going to go ahead and kick things off with singles competition as the top dog of the industry, Bebop, versus the magnificent Don Furio. All right, referee Josh Williams signals for the bell to start this matchup, and away we go, ladies and gentlemen, with these two top young athletes here in the Southeast. On one end of the ring, in the blue tights with the weight belt, the magnificent Don Furio, and on the other end, he is the former Carolina's champion, the top dog of the industry, Bebop. And you can listen to the fans right now, and they are solidly behind Bebop. These two kind of filling each other out, but there's the lockup. Bebop's got Don against the ropes, but Don just shoves him off, but Bebop right back up to his feet. Both of these men in top physical condition, but Don Furio, you can just get a good look at him and tell he's in peak condition. Strong like an ox he is. Bebop try to take him down with that shoulder tackle, but it didn't look like Don budged at all. He's going to go for it again. Result still the same. No budging the Don. Bebop asking the fans to try one more time. All right, let's see what happens. Furio misses a clothesline, and Bebop just picked him up for an inverted atomic drop. And Bebop one more, this time the original, and the atomic drop does some damage. Don Furio looks like he was trying to go for a line. Bebop ducks out of the way, hitting him with those lightning fast jabs. Misses an elbow. Beautiful arm drive by Bebop. There's another one. And look, tried to go to the well too many times. Don Furio reverses, going to try to give him a hip toss, but wait a minute, blocked by Bebop. Up and over, and there's another arm drag. And missile drop kick right there. Hits the target right there in the face of Don Furio. And now he's out on the floor. The fans here in Union, South Carolina, they're loving the action right now. Great professional wrestling right here in Union, South Carolina. And once again, we thank everybody that's attending this show here at Pro Wrestling Union. Also, we thank all of you out there that are watching this on YouTube. And Don Furio clearly frustrated. Looks like he's trying to leave the arena, but maybe having some second thoughts here. Don Furio was originally scheduled to wrestle the outlaw Randy Wayne, who ended up no-showing this event. And Bebop came in as a last-minute replacement. He wasn't even scheduled to wrestle for this match. But wait a minute. Whoa, another perfect drop kick from Bebop. And Don Furio is back on the floor. Bebop is now just kind of taking his time. He's waiting inside of the ring very patiently. And the Don is just trying to maybe figure out a strategy here. Referee Josh Williams, he's making that count, though. Don knows that he's got 10 seconds to get back inside of the ring. There he goes. Bebop telling him to bring it on. Misses another clothesline, but this time the Don calculated, knew that Bebop was going to be going for another drop kick. Oh, but wait a minute. Bebop is up. Over the top rope. Hits him with a big forearm. What's Bebop going to do? Oh, and Don Furio just hits him with a nasty European uppercut as Bebop was attempting to do something over that top rope. Furio now stalking his prey at this point as Bebop up against the turnbuckle. Ah! Hits him with a knife edge chop. He's picking him back up, exposing the chest, and one more. Driving the air out of Bebop, you know that those chops sting like crazy. And both men now back inside of the ring. Big clubbing arm from the Don. 
And Bebop is now down on the map, but not for too much longer as the Don picks him up. Bebop trying to fire back. Big punch. Hits the ropes. And oh! Hits him with that knee right into the midsection, driving the air out of him for sure. One, two, only a two count. You can see where the Don was questioning that two count from the referee, thinking that he's not counting fast enough, but that's all it takes is three seconds. But at that particular time, it was not enough time to keep the shoulders down of the former Carolinas champion. But the Don is doing the right thing. He's continuing the attack. Now driving that right shoulder into the midsection, continuing that attack from that knee from earlier, driving the air right out of Bebop. Shoots him off to the corner. Hits him with a flying back elbow. Oh, and a vicious clothesline. Snap mare. And what's he gonna do? In a sliding clothesline. One, two, and once again, only a two count. Bebop really thrusting himself off the mat to make sure that the shoulders were up. Don's got him up. Looks like he'd be going for a suplex, maybe. Yes, indeed. There's one. Wait a minute. The Don popping his hips around, holding on to Bebop. Going for two. Could he be going for a trifecta here? Looks like that's what he's going for, ladies and gentlemen. Bebop is up. But wait a minute. He goes back down. Bebop trying to do the suplex himself, but no, Don Furio with all of his strength just hoisted him over. One, two, and once again, another two count from the former Carolinas champion. This is a very exciting match so far, ladies and gentlemen, and this is only the start of it for this evening. We've got a match between Cam Jackson versus Buggy Wright, and we have the crowning of the interim Pro Wrestling Union Heavyweight Championship between the Prince of Sports Entertainment, Drew Hood, and Peterbilt. Don Furio going back for that suplex, but no, Bebop is over. He's got him in the pin. One, two, only a two count. Oh, and a vicious clothesline, almost decapitating Bebop. And I am highly surprised that Bebop kicked out of that. You can hear that smack when that clothesline went across Bebop's face there. Almost Lariat-like. But you can look at Bebop. You can look at the look in his face. And you can tell that that took a lot out of him. Once again, Don continuing this attack. Another European uppercut from the Don. The Don going for an Irish whip. But no, Bebop reverses and just nailed him with that chest chop. Don misses the clothesline, but Bebop rolls through with a flying clothesline of his own. One more, and nails it perfectly. And Bebop is back on his feet. He's calling for maybe one more, feeding off the energy of the fans. Goes for it, but no. The Don sidesteps and just puts him over with a big German suplex, turning Bebop inside out. The Don is up, and oh, a vicious knee strike to the face. This has got to be it. One, two, and three. No, only a two count, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this match is so great. This is great professional wrestling action. And if you want to find out more about some of the local independent promotions here in the Carolinas, check out Thursday Night Indie Spotlight, covering all things independent wrestling with your host, The Saint. Every Thursday at 8 p.m., you can catch them on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and other social media outlets. And right now, these two are still going at it. Don Furio trying to figure out what he's got to do to put away Bebop. But Bebop goes over, turns it into a pinning situation. One, two, Don back up. Bebop counters that clothesline, brings him over with a crucifix pin, and... Another two count, so close. Dom Furio going for another clothesline. This is the back elbow, but he captures and nails that huge power slam. One, two, and only a two count. And the Don is just laying there flat on his back. Near exhaustion, Bebop has been taking the brunt of the beating here in this matchup. 
I think the Don is doing the smart thing right now, trying to slow down the pace just a little bit more. He's got him in that rear chin lock, and he's keeping Bebop down. The Don is squeezing as hard as he can, but Bebop, he is doing whatever he can do to try to fight out of this, and is somehow getting back onto his feet. Nails him with a couple of shots right there to the abdomen. Gets the foot up and oh! Just pulls him down and jaw jacks him with that inverted jawbreaker. Both of these men are down. I'm telling you what, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a hard fault matchup between these two. But right now, referee Josh Williams, he's applying a 10 count. If neither one of these men can respond, that'll be it for the match. But I'm hoping that we continue to see more from these guys. Bebop starting to come alive a little bit. And the Dunn, he's starting to roll over. He's now on his knee. He's got that foot planted. But wait a minute, Bebop just kipped up. Where is he finding this energy? And he just nailed him with a clothesline. Another one for good measure. Don misses a clothesline himself, but Bebop has him up. Holding him and just drilled him right in the center of the mat with that scoop slam. Bebop follows it up, twirl and dropping the elbow. And the Don just laying there looking at the lights. And Bebop, he's stomping that foot. We all know what's coming next. Could be going for that super kick. Here it comes. Wait a minute, Don catches it. Ducks under a line, what's he doing? Wait a minute, turns him around. Oh, nails him in the back of the head. And he's got him up for that high angle slam. This could be the Don's opportunity to put away Bebop and secure that victory here tonight. One, two, and almost another three count. So close, but Bebop rolling that right shoulder up. And the look right here says it all, ladies and gentlemen. The exhaustion. These guys have been going at it hard and fast this entire time. But you can see the frustration right there on the Don's face. Who is now back on his feet. Wait a minute. What is he doing? He's taking the weight belt off. And he still has it in his hands. The referee is telling him to drop it. But it looks like the Don has malicious intent to possibly use this belt, causing a DQ, but no, referee stops him. Wait a minute, now the Don just put his hands on the ref. He's the official, you don't need to do that. And oh! Referee shoved him off, and Bebop just nailed that super kick. And Bebop is going up to the top rope. I think I know what he's about to do here. Could this be that Swanton? And he hits it! Bebop going for the cover. One, two, and three. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for your opening contest. And the fans here in Union, South Carolina are very pleased. Your winner of this matchup, the top dog of the industry, Bebop. But I will give credit where credit is due. The magnificent Don Furio put in a hell of an effort. But at the end of the night, it's Bebop that secures the victory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We still have two more excellent matches right here on Pro Wrestling Union Explosion. And here we go for the second matchup in this program. We have the classic pro wrestling champion, number one, Cam Jackson, going against the young and exciting Buggy Wright. Now let's go back to ringside. All right, the bell has been sounded. And here we go. We got Buggy Wright trying to rile the fans here in Union, South Carolina up. Definitely the fan favorite. And Cam Jackson not having any of it, stepping out of the ring before this match even begins. And just yelling at the fans. Such disrespect to the town here in Union, South Carolina. 
The referee Josh, he's already signaled for the bell to start. This is the beginning of the match, and now he is counting out the heavyweight champion of Classic Pro Wrestling. Just taking a stroll around the ring, and right now the fans are just giving it to Cam Jackson. Clearly not a favorite around these parts, that's for sure. But he is just taking his sweet time before getting back into this ring. If he keeps it up, he's going to get counted out. The buggy right just waiting patiently for Cam Jackson to get back into the ring. Cam Jackson, as I said, he is the CPW heavyweight champion. He's held that title for over three years. However, the championship is not on the line in this contest. We got a lock up. Cam Jackson got him in a nice headlock here. Buggy Wright looks like he tried to pick up. Cam launches him off, shoots him, kicks him in the gut. He's going to go for a suplex, but no, Cam blocking it. Tries to go for it again. Another block from Cam Jackson. Oh, and a vicious chop. Back to the headlock. Trying to slow this pace down. That's what he's got to do against somebody like Buggy Wright. He goes fast. And I mean lightning fast. Just like that. One, two, just rolled him over. And Cam Jackson now on top of him, but just blatantly choking him right there in front of the referee. Breaks it up before the five count. But like what I was trying to say, Cam Jackson is going to have to slow the pace down for somebody like Buggy Wright. Buggy is lightning fast. And he is so fast that there is just no way of stopping him once he gets moving. But right now, he's trying to figure out a way out of this predicament. He's got Cam Jackson's head, just snaps him over. And Buggy just asking him to get right back up. Another kick to the gut. Goes for an Irish whip. Ducks under. Hot leapfrogs over, but no, Cam Jackson just shoves him off and just nailed him with that huge, absolutely huge shoulder block. And going for the pin, only a one count. Not enough damage against Buggy Wright. He may be the smallest dog in the fight, but he's definitely got one of the biggest hearts. And it's going to take a lot more than a shoulder block to take out this young man. But Cam Jackson going right back into that headlock. And Buggy just getting him right there to the ropes. Maybe we can get a clean break here. Referee Josh telling him to break the hold. Hands are up. Buggy's got him, gonna go for another Irish whip, but no, wait a minute. Cam reverses, goes for a hip toss, but no, what's Buggy doing? Goes in for a rolling up pin, one, two, only a two count. Cam is back up, hits him with the hurricanrana, going for another pin, one, two. Like I said, this kid is fast, and if you don't pay attention, he'll take you out. Try to go for another hurricanrana, but wait a minute. Cam caught him, what's he gonna do? Oh my goodness, and just slingshots him halfway across the ring, hitting that top turnbuckle pad, picks him up and just drives him down right to the back. Cam Jackson definitely does not have support here at PWU. One, two, and a two count. Both of these guys, tremendous wrestlers in their own right. Buggy, one of the best junior heavyweights here in the Southeast, and Cam Jackson, just overall one of the best athletes ever. But whoa, but wait a minute. Now you got Buggy that's just reversing the roll, just chopping away at Cam Jackson. Goes for the ropes, but Cam puts a stop to it with a big boot to the face. Oh my goodness, the attitude from Cam Jackson and now just blatantly choking Buggy right there in front of referee Josh. And these despicable tactics, the fans here in Union, South Carolina, they are not for this at all. Cam Jackson, the last time that we saw him on Pro Wrestling Union Explosion, he had a match against the current Carolina's champion, Black Cat Deion Johnson, and it did not go into the favor of Cam Jackson. But right now, Buggy just hitting a forearm after forearm, elbow strike after elbow strike. Goes for another Irish rip, but no. Reverses. Got up and oh! 
A tremendous spine buster from Cam Jackson, the heavyweight champion of Classic Pro Wrestling. Roll in for a pin, one, two, and only a two count. Buggy Wright somehow managed to throw that shoulder up. And Cam Jackson cannot believe it. Just shaking his head furiously. But the fans here in Union, they are supporting Buggy, trying to motivate him to get back onto his feet. Goes for the punch right there to the gut, trying to knock the air out of Cam Jackson. European uppercut from the youngster. Maybe this time another Irish whip, but no. Cam Jackson blocks it and is going right back to blatant hard tactics, using that top rope to choke him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as this match continues, let's talk about the next event from Pro Wrestling Union. It's going to be Monsters Brawl. Saturday, October the 29th at the Union County Recreation Center at 115 Thomas Street. Tickets will be on sale at the door. $10 general admission. Kids 12 and under. They get in for free. And back to this matchup. Cam Jackson got Buggy Wright in that backbreaker and now just chopping away at the chest. Almost like he's taunting the fans. And then he's got him and nails him with that reverse STO. Driving the face into the mat. One, two, and once again, only a two count. And Cam Jackson cannot believe it. But you got to admire the toughness of Buggy Wright. But it looks like Cam Jackson's going for the kill. Maybe going for that left hook lariat. Went for it, but he misses. A handspring, and oh my goodness. Handspring into a cutter, and Cam Jackson was drilled. Top of the head first, and just spiked. And somehow he's responding. How is that possible? But the fans here in Union, South Carolina, they are loving it. And Buggy Wright feeding off the energy from this crowd. Trying to get a second win here. He's up, and Cam is struggling. Buggy tried to go for a shoulder block. Not enough weight behind in a clothesline. But wait a minute, what's he going to do? Runs to the ropes. Wait a minute, he got pushed to the side. He's in the turnbuckle. Cam comes running in. Buggy over. Hits the ropes. And jumping shoulder block. And another one. Cam goes down. Buggy right. Oh, and just jerks the head back and flopping all over the ring. Cam Jackson now back onto his feet. But up on the shoulders, maybe a Death Valley driver, but no, Cam Jackson blocks. He's got him up, scoop slams him. Very hard onto the mat, dead center of the ring. And Cam Jackson is calling for that elbow. He has his own unique way of dropping the elbow. Very entertaining, but very effective. He's getting set up for it. Hits the ropes, up, and drops it. Drills him directly right into the heart. One, two, and so close. Ladies and gentlemen, so close. Mere milliseconds away from a three count, but Buggy Wright found a way to get that shoulder up to break up the three count. And Cam Jackson just sitting there, just watching. Buggy's, wait a minute, he's got him up. Death Valley driver and just follows through. Grabs the legs, one, two, and a three, no. So close. Once again, this time, Buggy Wright was so close to securing a victory right here. On explosion against Cam Jackson. The Buggy. Looks like he's getting something going on in his head. Looks like he's going up top to the high rent district. This could be a 450 splash, a frog splash. What's he gonna do here? He's up. Oh, tried to go for a double foot stomp, but oh! Cam Jackson just turned him inside out with that left hook lariat. Now he's hooking the arms, got the head, and drills him with a bulldog driver. That's gotta be it. One, two, and three. Oh my goodness, what a great matchup this was. Your winner, 
the CPW Heavyweight Champion Cam Jackson defeating Buggy Wright, who came so close right there at the end. And Cam Jackson looks like he's signaling for a microphone. And he's handed his championship back. Hold on one second. He's calling for the ring announcer to get back in. I'm sick of the Oh boy, not a loss for words this Cam Jackson is for how he feels about the people in Union, South Carolina. But then he also had to mention Dion Johnson. And there are just some things you don't do, ladies and gentlemen. You don't tug on Superman's cape, and you don't come into Union County talking about Dion Johnson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for the second matchup, but don't go anywhere. We still got the main event to come. It is main event time right here on Pro Wrestling Union Explosion with the interim Pro Wrestling Union Heavyweight Championship on the line. We've got the Prince of Sports Entertainment, Drew Hood, taking on Peterbilt. Who's going to become the next champion? Let's go to ringside for the introduction. Drew Hood, a tremendous athlete, not exactly the most popular man in Pro Wrestling Union, though. Get a good look at him, ladies and gentlemen. This could be the new interim heavyweight champion for Pro Wrestling Union. And Drew Hood, not exactly wanting to hear it, Drew Hood... Still has a good chance. I have to give the favor for Peterbilt considering that he is the only person in Pro Wrestling Union to remain undefeated. And the bell has sounded and the match is officially on its way. Drew Hood taking his time. 
as he's walking around the ring. Peter Bilt doing the same. These two individuals know what's at stake here. A chance to become the interim Pro Wrestling Union heavyweight champion. The two lock up. And Drew Hood just whips him over from the lockup. But as I was saying, there's a lot in stake with the blue chipper Chase Emery out on medical leave. Being crowned the interim heavyweight champion guarantees you straight to the top when Chase Emery is available to come back. And, oh, Drew Hood just put him over with that hip toss. And now he's just leisuring right there in the turnbuckle corner there. Hey, no over there. Believe this is a bit of a mistake from Drew Hood's part. Not wanting to capitalize on this. Peter Bill is a tough individual, very strong. The two lock up again. Drew Hood now got him up. And a body slam right there, center of the ring. And Drew Hood once again celebrating. Now he's got his attention too much on the fans, but wait a minute, he's paying for it now. Arm drag and a hip toss. It looks like Peter Bilt, yep, got him up. Now he's going to give him a scoop slam himself, and right down this time, Peter Bilt's capitalizing, going for the pin. One. Not much of a count there, but Peter Bilt doing the smart thing, wanting to capitalize on the offense once again both of these guys tremendous wrestlers and if you're interested in becoming a wrestler check no further than team fearless training academy with head trainer Lodi. become the best wrestler you can be call them at 704-890-0877 or go to yourflexappeal.com for more information and peterbilt looks like he's going after drew hood He's got him up for that suplex and gets him right back into the ring. Peterbilt doesn't want to waste time here. He wants that championship really bad. And oh, and Drew Hood just kicked him right in the gut and just threw the head directly into the turnbuckle there. Irish whips him. But Peterbilt up and over. Up, got him in a schoolboy pin. One, two, only a two count maybe. Big elbow, and Peterbilt goes right back down for the pin. And the way that he propped his feet up, putting all of his weight on top of Drew, trying to hold him down. Very smart strategy, but Drew Hood back on the floor. This time, Peter is not wanting to wait. Stomps Drew in the back. What's he going to do? Oh! And Drew Hood just sidestepped and just threw him right there into that post. That's nothing but hard steel, and that really rocked Peterbilt. Club and shot to the back there. And now he's just taking Peterbilt and just draping that throat over that guardrail there. But Drew Hood, he's getting Peterbilt back in the ring. That's where everybody wants to see the action between these two. And once again, Drew Hood just draping the throat on a rope. Trying to choke the life out of Peterbilt. He's only got a five count to break it up. Referee Josh Williams definitely has his work cut out for him tonight. And Drew Hood just ramming that shoulder right into the abdomen. Driving the air out. This too is smart strategy from Drew Hood. If the man cannot breathe... There is no way for him to be able to wrestle effectively. And Drew Hood got that rear chin lock. And just jaw jacking the fans at the same time. And you can see the pain right there on Peter Bilt's face. He's a tough son of a gun, I tell you that. But there's only so much the human body can take. But somehow... He's finding a way to fight back, but Drew Hood just drops that arm across the back of the neck, and down goes Peterbilt. Now, I know the fans here in Union, South Carolina, they definitely want to see Peterbilt come out on top, getting that interim heavyweight title. 
And once again, like I said, whoever holds the gold, they get that first crack at Chase Emery when he comes back to unify the two championships. But Drew Hood, he's acting like he wants it now, just beating on Peterbilt and just raking the eyes across the top roots. More dirty tactics from Drew Hood, but you didn't expect anything less from a guy like him. Big clothesline right there into the corner. Does another one. Maybe charging in for the Hood hype train. But wait a minute, Peterbilt just pushed him off and answers with a clothesline right out of the corner. Catches him. What's he gonna do? He's got him up. Big back suplex, drills him, and Peterbilt kicks up. Getting some of that high energy back, and now it's time for him to capitalize. Irish whips him into the corner, scoops him up for a power slam. Could this be it, ladies and gentlemen? One, two, two count. Not exactly quite the uh, power slam that Peterbilt normally uses, which is more at the overhead, drilling the man down. But that was definitely effective. Drew Hood still down on the mat. But it looks like Peterbilt may be thinking about it now. Scooping him up. Yes, looks like he's going for it. No, Drew Hood went behind him. Schoolboy, one, two, but a kick out. And what's he going to do here? Picks him up. Wait a minute, he's got his head trapped. Implant, DDT. One, two, and a two count. Drew Hood checking the referee, making sure that he heard that right. It was a two count. Drew showing some frustration here. But wait a minute, looks like he could be going for his big shot here. Maybe pancake and Peterbilt, but no, wait a minute. Peterbilt fighting his way out of it. Gets him up again. Maybe going for that power slam. No, wait a minute. He just pushed Peterbilt to the referee and oh! Drew Hood just delivered a low blow, hit him between the legs. The referee didn't see it. Wait a minute, but Drew Hood just hit the pancake. One, two, and three. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. And the fans here in Union, South Carolina, they do not like this call. But the referee did not see the low blow in your winner of this matchup. And the new interim Pro Wrestling Union heavyweight champion is the Prince of Sports Entertainment, Drew Hood. Pro Wrestling Union General Manager Matty G now in the ring. And Drew Hood asking for Matty G to just drape the new title belt on him. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. Well, there you have it, folks. Like I said, the new interim heavyweight champion of Pro Wrestling Union, the Prince of Sports Entertainment, Drew Hood. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this episode of Explosion. Thank you, and good night.